Generally, things are going really well. We've installed a, a huge amount of equipment. Um, there's been essentially two de uh, deck loads full of stuff that have almost gone now. I'm very thrilled to be this far along at this stage, certainly. Apparently there are regions in here that's a real shell hash at the base. All the mussel shells and the barnacles and so on that are at the base. Yeah. I'd say that one of the most challenging things that we've had to do in this cruise is to lay some very long extension cables. In general, the extension cables are, are a hard job to do. Um, you need to be very careful with them and there's very um, complicated uh, termination assemblies and connectors at the ends that you don't want to damage as you're doing the work. Um, and the longest of those cables are 12.5 kilometers long, which is uh, 2.7 kilometers um, water depth. The, the bottom's always going to have that nephloid layer, the muddy bottom, that is. Working with the Robos team is just a huge pleasure, and they're a big reason why we're having such a lot of success. Um, they, what makes them uh, a really successful outfit is partly the, the technology of the, the ROV itself, They've worked really hard to produce a really good uh, science class ROV. Very, very dexterous, uh, a lot of capabilities. But certainly half of the success of that operation is the pilots themselves. And so I certainly hope that this is a project that will make people more aware of the oceans, that it's a real place, and that um, it will allow us, um, uh, our scientists and our, our societies in a whole, to understand the oceans better. And uh, I think we're going to be learning just a huge amount about this large chunk of our planet.